started back in uh, 2002. I uh, was at a park in Mint Hill and uh, saw some people throw some disc at a basket. Had my kids out there just playing when they were young and um, went to Eckerd's, bought a little whammo frisbee, played a couple holes, thought it was a pretty good idea. So we came out to the property and made a nice little short little course and started playing other disc golf courses around the area, Reedy Creek, and Hornet's Nest, and got a feel of what disc golf was about, how to play it. And uh, bought a chainsaw, started cutting some trees, and had a pretty good little course built for about seven or eight years, and then we had a little property dispute. And we lost the, uh, the back part of the course, which is the prettiest, of course. But um, almost shut it down, but everybody kept telling me to the revamp and redesign so uh, we studied it for about two or three months and decided to go ahead and try it again and got 21 holes and got some real creative shots uh, stump holes and rock holes and trampoline holes and more like a, a miniature golf course basically in disc golf style and we've got a hundred members that have really helped pitched in over the years and we're all doing fundraisers and tournaments charity tournaments whatever we can do to help out the community and uh, building a little um, pro shop with uh, disc and games for people just to come out and relax, enjoy the property and get away from it all for a while. And the glow part of it is another thing. I really wanted to have a night course that could be really enjoyable. So we put spotlights on all the holes and different angles to show the baskets and different perspective. And um, it's really a unique course at night. I hope everybody enjoys it this year. We're really promoting it this year for people to come out and enjoy the night course part of it. What's the... Well, there's no trees at night. So you, uh, you go up there and you're like, man, you can't see the trees. I said, exactly. So you don't think about it. You go out there and you just throw into the abyss there. And it's amazing how you don't hit the trees. And it's so cool to watch the flight of the disc and going into the basket. And it's just a whole different experience for disc golf, I think. I really li I like it better at night than I do during the day. I play better at night than, during, than I do during the day. And uh, like I said, it's, get, it's growing more and more around the area. You hear a lot more glow leaves coming up, and they come up with cooler lights that stick on the disc and don't affect the flight, and, and it's just kind of fun to watch the path of the lights. There's a basket. Huh? Right on the light? Yeah. Alright, You have a good shot of them coming in at you now, huh? Are they up there? Be careful. Who you talking to? Yeah. I don't have a flashlight. Dead on, but solid red. Yeah. Man? You got yours? 
Oh my god. I was actually kidding too, but I just was like, okay. Only you would throw the fucking black. <laughs> <laughs>